What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here. This is, uh, this is actually like a vlog. This is a uh, this is this is a the Friday vlog. Um, I did have a therapy s no, I don't have a therapy. I didn't have a therapy session. I have a therapy session next week. Um, it's probably gonna be my last one just because of what happened. If you guys don't know what happened, I have a video um, a live stream that I did. And basically what happened, uh, just so I can let you guys know is if you didn't see that, is that I'm no longer a firefighter. I resigned slash retired. Um, I don't plan on being a firefighter again. Um, I loved the job. I, I loved everything, but a lot of the a lot of the stress um, was caused by the, by by the job. Um, on top of I was predisposed to it, and to be honest, I'm I'm happy to be done. I'm happy to be home with the kids. I'm happy to be home. Happy to be doing this full time for now. Um, and really trying uh, to make this happen, uh, YouTube and everything. Um, so that's that's what that's where I'm at right now. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about motorcycles and depression, and why I think a lot of guys and a lot of, a lot of women, a lot of a lot of people. There you go. That's even better. A lot of people um, go to motorcycles, like a motorcycle therapy. Um, I have no idea why I'm going down this road. This road sucks. Uh, motorcycle therapy. Uh, to treat their to treat their depression. Um, I don't think it's uh, the best way to treat your depression, but it's kind of what I did. Now, and I have these uh, bullet points right here so I can stay on track and not just mumble the whole time. So I want to talk to you about why I started riding and how I started riding. If you guys didn't uh, see my divorce video, I'll have a link in the description. I, I, I was very candid and open about my first divorce and kind of why I started riding. And uh, But I want to emphasize a little bit more why I started riding. My buddy Matt got me into riding um, right after my divorce, my first divorce, and I was really depressed and really looking for that. I was, I was doing a lot more dangerous stuff, okay? Um, and that's what they mentioned with men is that they, they tend to do more dangerous things while depressed. And I didn't know that. I just thought I was having fun. So I went and got this bike. This is my 2012 Nightstar. I got it November, I think, 3rd or 2nd, uh, 2011. And I did a lot of stuff to it. And I started riding and just the exhilaration of being, just being on the bike. I mean, I think we all know that if you've been riding, if you are riding or if you're gonna start riding, you already already understand, oh, that was a big bump, that the exhilaration, the adrenaline rush, it feels good, the endorphins, it feels amazing. Um, and that's and that's what I, what I get from this. Um, let's go ahead and turn right. Let's go down Oracle. It's actually, I don't like this road, but we're gonna do it. And that's why I started riding and I really started riding. Like I put like, 3,000 miles on my bike within 30 days. I'm serious. I, I and I put like I put most of the miles on this bike within the first year. Uh, now I just ride for when I make these videos or when I go off road or just have some fun, just some quick fun. But that's why I started riding, and I felt like it's because it was almost like a quarter life crisis type thing. And I really didn't know why I loved it so much at the time. I thought it was just you know I was feeling good. This was like my new baby. This is my new thing that I loved. Um, cause I, I just lost something and, and I needed that hole filled and this thing, this thing did it. And I think that's why a lot of people start riding motorcycles when they are depressed because this thing does give you that endorphin, that love feeling, the oxytocin and all that stuff, all those chemicals in your brain. It does give you that same thing with dogs. That's why I love my dog so much. Um, and, uh, that's kind of why I think, uh, I liked it and I loved it so much and I didn't understand. I was only 20... 24, 25 when I got divorced. So, I mean, I was still young. I think I was 23. I don't know, whatever. I was still young and I thought I knew what, why. Um, let's go ahead and move up to that just so we can stay on topic. So, I think I understand because right now when I, when I do feel angry or sad and I do go for a ride, which you shouldn't do, but I'll talk about that later, is that the feeling of power, this, this power, you know, this power just, it, it makes me feel good. So when I'm like sad or, or upset or or when I was depressed and I didn't know about it and I was taking these extra, you know, dangerous, you know, things, I was doing these de like speeding and shit. Um, I think that's why men do that when they're depressed because they have that, they start to feel like they have that power. They're starting to get the feeling of power back. And that's how I, I felt. It's like I freaking love doing this. I love it. I mean, obviously I can't speed, but I just love that feeling. And that kind of goes into the control. It's like, I'm in control of this. I'm in control of, of doing that. I'm, I'm in control of the power. I'm in control 
of something so small. Like I feel like I'm running fast. Does that make sense? When you're in a car, it feels like you're just driving. On a bike, it feels like I'm running fast. Like I'm, there's nothing to obscure me. There's, it, it feels like I'm in control of every sense of, every sense of the word, I'm in control of me right now. I'm in control of my life. I'm in control of the road. I'm in control of where I'm going. I'm, I am aware. I'm not daydreaming. I'm not like I am. I'm focused and that, that makes me feel good. It makes me, I'm in control, not just the bike and body, but I'm, I feel like I'm in control of my mind when I'm riding. And that is amazing. It's the power, the control, it feels good. And I think that's why depressed men or depressed people, but especially depressed men choose this. And I'm just speak, speaking from my own personal heart here. Um, I think that's why. I think I think that is an amazing feeling to, to be able to take control of that. Um, when you lose that control with depression and, and anxiety and all the other types of anxieties and all the other types of depressions, I think that is exhilarating. It's, 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 it's hard to explain. It's very hard to explain. Hopefully I was able to explain that uh, as best I could. Now I kind I want to get into some of the other stuff. Now I want to tell you that I told you why I got into it. I told you why if it's good and it feels good. But if you really listen to what I was trying to say is that a lot of that sounds pretty dangerous. Um, riding with power, you know, riding in control, that can be addicting. And that's where people can still continue to um, do bad stuff. Like the power, it's like, okay, then you're gonna start speeding, the control. Okay, now you're gonna be like, right, just riding in this lane is not that fun. I could totally zigzag through these cars. That's the control of the bike, control of your mind, control of other stuff. Hey, Indian Motorcycle Tucson, what's up? Um, hey, and then uh, that's that can lead into danger. So the, a lot of there's a lot of dangers when it comes to riding and depressed. To be honest, um, well, first of all, riding is dangerous in and of itself. You need to have the proper gear, and proper training, and all that stuff. But when people are depressed and and uh, they get on the bike to basically treat themselves, um, self medicate that. Same thing with alcohol; it can be dangerous and all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead. It's not turn here. Um, the dangers are, you know, you can ride angry or ride sad. So ride, riding emotional. So you go out and like you're feeling like you have the worst day. Ride angry. You need to feel that power and control back. You're gonna zigzag through these cars. You're gonna speed, and that's dangerous. You're gonna when you're riding sad. If you start crying, I've rode while crying, and it's 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 dangerous. You really do not want to. I'm gonna turn out here. You really do not want to do that. I'm gonna turn and park to. The, position three so people could see me all right keep an eye on that um it's it's pretty dangerous and you don't want to be doing that it's it's there's a lot of dangers riding and riding angry and sad is is makes it even more dangerous just like riding and drinking riding and being high or on any type of uh see this guy wants to blow the yellow all right cool so that's 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 where i'm getting with that now it's not a true antidepressant, okay? It really is not. This is not an antidepressant. This is a band-aid to the issue. The feeling of loss of power, loss of control because of depression and anxiety is this this gives you power and control, but it also gives you a dangerous thing. Like this is dangerous. And it's addicting to have that power and control, so you're gonna get into harder and scarier and more dangerous positions. So it's not a true antidepressant. Now I'm not going to get into medications. I'm not going to get into, you know, cannabis oils and all that stuff. And why? I think I'm going down the wrong way. All right, I'll turn right. Whatever. Um, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. Um, I personally am on Prozac. I am personally on Xanax whenever it's needed. Um, but Prozac is an antidepressant and it helps with obsessive thoughts. And that has helped me within the with. Once the months, you know, ended, because that's how long it takes for the therapeutic effect to, t to kick in. Once that started kicking in, I have never felt better. I've been riding for six years, and I get that feeling while riding sometimes, but I still get those obsessive thoughts while I was going through everything. 
but I got that feeling of control and power and confidence while riding, but now I feel it all the time with medications. So this is not a true antidepressant because you cannot ride every day, all day, every hour, every minute. Maybe you can, I don't know, but I can't. And so you need to actually go seek help. You need to seek help from a therapist because, man, that's been amazing. Um, but I, I can't afford it now, but uh, it's been amazing and it's been helpful. Having the, the right medications have been, so it's such a blessing. Um, but having the motorcycle and the medications and help, it's, it's on top of all that, it's, it's, it's even better. Now, I'm sorry if this has been like a long vlog, but I really wanted to do something like this and not just like a face vlog and talking about motorcycles and stuff because this really does help me uh, focus on what I'm talking about because it's this is this has been my antidepressant for years and I'm able to be myself while on this and now that I'm on medications and stuff I'm able to even be more open while on this and on medication so I just wanted to talk to you about that so but if you're having any issues and you're having you know maybe a crisis obviously talk to somebody if you're having a, an emerging crisis I will have a link in the description for the suicide hotline they are trained professionals. Um, if you're just having a bad day, you can call them and they can direct you to uh, appropriate services if that's not who, if, if that if they can't help you, that they'll do that. And on top of that, if you are having an emergency, they will help you out. They will find you something. But if you just wanna talk about your bad days and you just wanna talk about you know some issues, maybe get some insights and advice. I am only 31, but there's a lot, there's a plethora. <laughs> of guys and girls on the Discord channel that do talk uh, about their own experiences and we help each other out. It's, it's such a great community. I love you guys and it's it's amazing. So if you guys have any issues with motorcycles and depression, that's that's who I am. That's who I am and a lot of I'm start I'm attracting a lot of that into the Discord and it's in a, it's it's a great support system. I, I don't think I could have done this without you guys. So if you're in that position, you're not part of the Discord yet or if you are in the Discord and you haven't participated, and you feel like you should. Um, just go ahead and lurk. Uh, there's a mental health discussion section and we just kind of talk or you could just watch and learn from us and then maybe chime in whenever you feel ready and then we can all be a part of, you know, that. But with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I will definitely see you guys later, alright? Bye.